hey, we're going to talk about ranges, not that kind of a range from the 70s. So we used to have one like that in our house. What we're going to be talking about right here is this here. What is the range of each of these functions? Okay. Well, the range is the y value. So if you'll notice here, as you look at this here, there's an asymptote at y equals zero, meaning it will never touch zero. And we can see the graph is above it. So our range will be y greater than zero or anything from zero to infinity. Basically, our positive numbers. All right. So let's look at our next one here. Notice the asymptote is still the same. It's at zero. It's just going, so there, it's a growth, it's a decay, but yet the range is still all the positive values, so y greater than zero or zero to infinity. Now, what's different about the second one, if you will notice, is this. This minus two moves it down. It's no longer, the asymptote is no longer at zero, but at two. So therefore, I'm looking above all the values that are greater than negative two. So I'm just going to write it y greater than negative two, and I had to write it like that or the sign wasn't going to come out right. This up. So instead of being 0 to infinity, it's negative 2 to infinity. But let's look at this last one. What's different about it? Well, the asymptote is still 0, but instead of being above it, it's below. So we're talking about y values less than 0, but I'm not going to go 0 to negative infinity. You have to do negative infinity to 0. This is the mistake people make, is you have to make sure you write the smallest number first. And negative infinity is a lot smaller than 0. That seems kind of hard to comprehend, but all right. So let's do this here. Suppose I have this equation. What's my range? Well, I don't see any number being added or subtracted to it, so it's going to be zero. All of them will have a y. And if there's a positive value, a positive coefficient, they're all greater than. So these are greater than. But if you'll notice, this one's a negative. These here have a negative sign in front, so they'll be less than. And this one doesn't, so it's a greater than. I kind of did this here first, just kind of see how easy it is. Positives are greater than, negatives are less than, and then my numbers just, I don't see a number being added to it, so it's zero. What's being added to this one? Negative four. So this one, I mean, this one will be five? Yeah. There's That one will be seven, and that one will be negative three, and there's nothing being added to these. That's a horizontal shift. So that is how I find my range for all of those.